Alright, well, I'm glad to be with you, Ben. Thank you. Um, uh, so, I don't really remember the storyline before the ending. I remember some basic facts about it. It was very chaotic. Um, there were a lot of things going on, and I couldn't really pay attention. I remember at some point there was... I was in a car that fell into lava, um, and a lot of the other people in the dream were old friends I had in high school. Um, but the really significant part that stood out to me was the ending. Um, I was standing behind a house, like in the backyard, there was no fence. Um, and there was a man in off white robes standing in front of me and the ropes had some red trim around them. Um, and he stabbed me with the tip of his sword and twisted it when it was inside me before pulling it out. Um, and I looked down at the wound and it wasn't bleeding at all. Um, he walked away and I turned around to see someone standing behind me in street clothes. They were wearing a, a black t-shirt and some jeans. And I had the same sword that he stabbed me with in my hand. And I did the same thing, stabbed the man in front of me and twisted the sword and then pulled it out. After I removed the sword, both my wound and his wound started pouring blood. And we both collapsed on the ground and I assume bled out, but I woke up at that point.